I'm about to run through a session of Universal Rule uh, Solo AI, which is the new expansion uh, for Universal Rule. It's solo expansion. It's six cards, these five uh, action cards for the uh, AI, as well as an additional planet that you can use in any game, solo or multiplayer. Uh, I'm going through the rules as I play, so it's going to be a slower uh, process than usual. Uh, just so you know, I'm using these beads for credits. These are mine. These are the AI. The AI also has a die. Um, the, AI, the AI cards will be played here. And just so you know, I will play this as the top of the AI, the, the current um, side of the planet that's in, in use, and then rotate it. And mine will be the same way. This one is the top, the current, and then I'll rotate as I use them. So first thing you do, you shuffle up your 17 planet cards. It can be the 17 from the base game or a combination from the base game and expansions, or it could be any of the standalone expansions. Uh, you have an edge card, which can be any of the edge cards that we've released in the base game or any of the standalone expansions. Okay, so we're ready to play. I'm going to play on easy mode, which is the AI, AI starts with two cards in hand, and I'm going to place the AI hand right there. Uh, I start with three cards. I choose one to return to the bottom of the deck. And it'll be this one. So I've got my hand. I get one credit. I'm gonna put my credits onto this playmat once I have them. And the AI receives three credits. I'll place them right there. So that's our, our initial setup. Uh, I go first. I take a turn like normal. I choose an action, execute that action, and I do determine my follow cost. So, I'm going to colonize. Oh, no, I'm not. It's going to cost me two. I'm not going to colonize. I am going to spend one to explore. My follow cost is one. I can only set my follow cost uh, to as many planets I have in play with a minimum of one. So my follow cost is one. So I explore, I draw my card. My opponent, the AI, will always follow uh, if possible, uh, if they can afford it and the action's allowed. So for one, they're gonna pay me. They're gonna follow because they're not at their hand limit, which is three. They draw another card. I can always see their cards as well. Um, that's their hand. I drew one, I've got three cards. Now it's the AI's turn. So we're gonna start at the top here. Uh, if the AI's strongest plan exceeds the player's weakest by four or more, it's going to attack. Not gonna happen. Uh, if it's not at its hand limit, which is normally three, and it has at least one credit, it will explore. Not gonna happen because it's at three. If the AI has enough credits to colonize a planet, zero, two, three, has two, the AI will colonize the most expensive planet it can afford including upgraded planets. So I gotta look at the top and the bottom. But this one's only two, so it's going to colonize it for two. It sets its follow cost to its current planet limit, which was at the time a zero, which is zero and one planet, the follow cost will be one. So for one, it can colonize things two. I can pay one to colonize, but I can't afford any of mine. They're all twos. So I'm not going to follow, and I'm going to take my free credit instead. Uh, if you choose to pass, you always gain one credit. Okay, so when an opponent explores, gain one. That's going to happen automatically, uh, gain one uh, credit. It's always going to happen uh, on the turn, so I have to watch out for that. So on my turn, I'm going to colonize. I'm going to set my, my follow limit or my follow cost to one. They can't follow because they don't have any. And I want to colonize the colonize glomer so I can gain additional coins. So I pay my two. They can't follow, so they 
gain one for not following. Okay, it's their turn. Uh, their strongest is not four above my weakest. Uh, it's not a hand limit, and it has at least one uh, credit. So it will explore. Spend one to explore. I can pay one to follow, but I don't have any. So I'm going to pass and get a credit. On my turn, I am going to uh, produce so I can get some more credits. So I spend two. I'm sorry, so I, so I gain two right there. They can follow, but they don't have any credits, so they're going to pass, gain one. AI's turn. It's not going to attack. It's not going to explore because it's full hand. It has enough credits to colonize a planet? It does, this one's zero. So, bam, puts that in, sets this follow cost to one before that, so I can colonize for one as well. So I'm going to pay the follow cost and pay two to colonize this one. When opponent colonizes, gain one. When colonized, an opponent pays you one for each planet in their galaxy. I get two there. So that worked out pretty well for me. Uh, just a quick check where we're at. Uh, two points. Two points. We're tied. Um, nobody has enough credits to count as points. So it's currently a tied game. The game is going to end when the deck runs out or either the AI or, or myself gets to five planets in play. So I have to be careful because they're going to get cards fast um, and I need to uh, make sure I'm ahead of them. So that was their turn. It's my turn and I'm sitting on some coins here. They have nothing, so I'm going to take advantage of this and produce. Follow cost two, they can't do it. Or follow cost one, it doesn't matter. They can't do it. So they're going to gain one just from not following. And I'm going to gain four, which puts me in a real good spot. Okay. Their turn. Attack. They're not four above mine. They have four and two. I have four and two. They are not at hand limit. They have one, so they're going to spend it to knock that deck down. So they're slowly whittling down this deck. Uh, do I want to draw one to follow? I am. Let me just make sure I'm right on that. Yep. I'm going to pay one. And then I'm going to follow, so i got to pay one to colonize. I'm sorry, to explore. When an opponent explores, gain one. Bam. Okay, so I got Farsight, Attacker, I'm just gonna gain. Um, I can upgrade and then quickly speed up. I'll be in a good position. I have a lot of coins, so let's see what I can do. On my turn, I am going to upgrade. I'm gonna spend four. I'm going to set my follow cost at one. I'm going to spend my four to upgrade. When colonizer or upgrade two, pay, opponents pay you one for each planet in their galaxy. So, bam, I get those. This is a great card in, in this solo game. So, they can't follow. Uh, they're going to get one for not following. Okay. Let's see. their turn. They're not going to attack. They're not going to explore because they're at hand limit. They have enough to colonize a planet, so they will. They've got pessimistic. You cannot win. So there's two cards in the two sets that have notes. And... The AI does not follow the you cannot win text. So, 
I don't get the easy way out. Still going. Uh, they've colonized that. They've got three points now. I've got three points. The game is essentially tied. Um, when they colonize, I gain one. And do I want to follow? Their follow cost would have been two. Uh, nope, it's not going to happen. So in that event, I gain another one. So right now I'm at one, two, three, four points because every five credits is a point. Okay, feeling all right. This is easy mode. Um, on my turn, I am going to colonize Farsight for four with a follow cost of one. It doesn't matter. Bam, bam, they get one. Okay, that one is for not following. When I explore, I get to look at two cards, keep one, discard the other. That's uh, it's gonna hurt me a little bit because we don't want that discard pile going in this in this solo game. All right, my opponent's turn. They are not going to attack. Uh, actually, they are going to attack because their pessimistic is six over my two, so we get to see the attack. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to read through this one. We get to see it. Combat. Regardless of who initiated the attack, follow these steps to resolve combat. Player commits cards. Decide how many cards, if any, they wanna use for their fleet value. So I have one card in hand that I can add four to it. Um, I'm just gonna read it out before I do it. Uh, player commits credits, I only have one credit. Um, the AI checks for victory. If they've already won, they're six uh, against my two, plus my credits and coins, whatever I did, it's over. Um, they don't use any credits or cards. We just skip to the end. Uh, the AI checks for defeat. If they have no chance of winning, using all of its credits, um, or up to six of its available credits and all of its cards, the AI will not use credits or cards. We skip to the end. So it's still going. I haven't committed anything, so I'm just reading through. But then the AI commits credits. They roll the die, and they use that many credits. Uh, no matter how many uh, other planets it controls, it's going to use this many credits. Uh, if the number you rolled exceeds the amount of credits the AI has, it uses all of its credits. So you just roll to see how many it's going to commit. And then the AI, AI commit, commits cards. If they have not yet win the, won the battle, they use as few as possible cards uh, to win. If they can't add enough cards, or, or if they can't add enough cards to win, then they don't use any cards. So, I need to keep this in place. So I am going, we're gonna go back to the beginning. Player commits cards. I'm committing my four uh, to it. Player commits credits. Oh, I don't think I can win this, but I can drive them out of this. I'm gonna commit one credit. Okay, this might be terrible. I'm just kind of following along. AI checks for victory. No, they did not win. It's six to seven. AI checks for defeat. They do have a chance to win, so they're gonna keep going. They're gonna make credits. They're gonna commit one. They rolled to see how many, no matter what, it's the one. It's at seven to seven. It is a tie, and a tie, I believe, goes to the defender. Yep, so they're gonna keep going, and they're gonna commit cards. Uh, they haven't won the battle, so they commit as few cards as possible, um, which is gonna be this one. They're gonna commit this gel triplet, bam, and now they're gonna win the battle. This is discarded, these are discarded, these are lost. I'm in trouble. <laughs> All right. My turn. I have, I have nothing here. So I'm going to produce. My follow cost is two, whatever is not going to happen. I produce five. They gain one for not following. 
All right. They're going to check for attack. If their strongest is higher than my four, higher than my weakest, it's not. If it's at hand limit, it's not. So it's going to spend one to draw one. Whittle our deck down some more. Okay. Do I want to follow to draw a card? Yes, I have to. I'm running out of cards. So I pay one to follow, pay one to explore, and I explore. When you explore, look at two cards. Keep one and discard the other. This looks to be helpful right now. Okay, bam. All right. That was their turn, right? They explored my turn. For a follow cost of one, I will uh, colonize. Spend three, put out the little money maker. I put that out because it was a four and it's not four below that. So I'm in a good spot. They can't follow, they gain a credit. Their turn. They're not going to attack, but they are going to explore. Spend one to draw a card. I am not going to follow. I gain one. On my turn, I'm going to... Let's see. got to check a rule real quick. But I am going to... It can follow if it can. It will always follow if it can afford to. I'm going to set my follow cost too high for them to afford to do it. So, follow cost is three, and I am going to uh, produce and gain nine, which I need. Two, four, six, eight, nine. They can't follow, so they gain one. All right, let's see. I'm sweating a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. They're sitting on that edge card, which is a problem because that's six points. Game's gonna end when this gets through. There's four cards in deck, I have none in hand. I need to win a battle in order to, uh, to get that edge onto my side and then uh, I might be in a good spot to win the game. So, let's talk about battle. They're going to commit a whole ton of fleet. So I got to exceed that fleet. Their fleet is 7, 8, 9. They got two coins. That's 10, 11, potentially, likely. If I attack this one, it's 12, 13. I can exceed that with my coins and get that edge onto my side. Let's do it. I'm gonna attack on my turn. Major Thug is attacking uh, Sharoa. So it's actually Lizen, Planet Lizen is attacking Sharoa. So, read through that one more time. Regardless of who initiated, follow these steps. Player commits cards, none. Decide how many cards. Player commits credits. I mean, I know what I need. I can wage it. Uh, I have eight, and I want to beat. Two, three, four, five, six. But they're going to draw these cards, which is going to be the problem. Ugh. Maybe I can get some, some cards out real quick. Anyway. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I'm going to commit six. Bam. Uh, the AI checks for victory. Uh, nope, they haven't won. They check for defeat. If they have no chance of winning, they won't use any credits or cards. I'm going to play it safe and commit seven, so they have no chance of winning. Done. Battle's over. I have the edge. My seven is on. Their planet is gone. And I'm in a really good spot right now with one, two, three, four, ten points to their two. It's looking good. 
This is not one of my planets. This is just, I have the edge. Okay. Let's see. It's their turn. They're not going to attack. Their six isn't higher than my moves. The AI is not at its hand limit. Or it is at its hand limit, sorry. Does it have enough credits to colonize? It does. Two. Bam. Follow cost would have been two. I can colonize for two. I can't. I gain one. Sorry, I put that the wrong way. When colonized, when you explore, when an opponent produces. Sorry, this should be here. You're supposed to be in order. Uh, this one actually should have been destroyed when they colonized another planet. I missed that. Bam. Okay, this is my turn. I'm going to try to end this as quickly as possible. I need to get a card, so I'm going to spend one to explore with a follow cost of three so they can't follow. Whatever, they gain one. Explore. Got a card in my hand. Their turn. They're not going to attack. Right? They are going to explore with a follow cost of two. And I need to explore to get another card in my hand. Do I need to do this? Let's see. Oh, I think I'm good because when the card's drawn from the deck. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna play this card into play. So for three, gels triplet goes into play. Follow cost one. Whatever they can't do it, they draw a card. Okay, their turn. They're not going to attack. Not four above. They are not going to explore. They have enough to colonize. They can't do it. They don't have enough to upgrade, so they're going to produce and get four. My turn. I am going to... Oh, sorry. I can't follow, so I'm going to get one. I'm going to spend my one to explore. They're not going to follow because they're at full hand size. They gain one. Okay. Their turn, attack, no. Explore, no. Colonize, yes. Uh, the most expensive, and it goes from left to right if they're, uh, if they are a tie. So this one, so four, you cannot Colonize a planet costing the same as a planet you own. Got to keep that in mind. Okay. Their follow cost, I can't do it anyway. One. Bam. For one, I'm going to play cheap. Uh, they can follow, but I win at the end of the turn. Let's see. Does it, does it end immediately or is it... Turn normal. Uh, when the last card is drawn from the deck, or when you colonize your fifth planet. So, bam, colonize my fifth planet. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve points, and they have one, two, three. Yay! Oh, also, I have no coins, so I don't have any additional points from coins. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I've beaten them on easy mode. Uh, just so everyone knows for hard mode, um, the AI starts with a card in play or medium, they start with a card in play. And for difficult, uh, they start with the more expensive of, of their cards in play. Um, oh, the cheaper, so for medium, they start with the cheaper side the cheaper of their two cards and difficulty start with the more expensive of their two cards. 
uh, and there's some additional potential uh, combat uh, variants for um, to look into. So that's it. That's Universal Rule Solo AI. And I won.